How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to use iCloud Photos and free up a ton of your iPhone storage. In this video, I'm going to teach you in just a couple steps how to actually upload all your photos and videos that are on your iPhone to iCloud and free up up to 90% of your iPhone storage. It's amazing. If your iPhone is running low on storage, this will save your life. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so all you need to do is tap on your settings and then at this top banner where you see your name and Apple account, tap on it and then tap on iCloud and last but not least, tap on Photos. And right here we have iCloud Photos and that's exactly what we need. What you actually need to enable is this very first option where you can see sync this iPhone. So if it's disabled on yours, make sure to enable it as you can see. And then, and this is the most important part, you need to select this very first option right here, optimize iPhone storage. When you have both those options enabled and selected, that's exactly how you set up your iPhone to upload every single photo and video that's on the iPhone storage to iCloud, to the cloud. And then of course, free up a ton of your storage. And it's very important to enable this option right here because what it'll do is exactly this. It'll keep all of your items, so all of your photos and videos in full original resolution in the cloud and it'll keep a copy, a low resolution version of your exact library, your full library on your iPhone. So just to make things very clear, your original photos and videos will be saved in the cloud and you have a copy in low resolution on your iPhone, but don't worry because you'll be able to view those photos and videos in full resolution as soon as you tap them. So let me show you how it works. As you can see right here, I have in iCloud 32,448 photos, 5,704 videos. So a little bit over 38 thousand photos and videos. And if you go ahead here and open up the photos app, that's exactly what I have. 38,155 items. So I have my entire library in the cloud in full resolution and I have the same library but in low resolution on my iPhone. So whenever I want to go ahead and watch a video or see a photo right here on my iPhone, I'm going to tap on it. And if necessary, it's gonna load very quickly and show me the full resolution because it's gonna load from iCloud. It's gonna get that full resolution version from iCloud and then present it to me. So this is the way you actually save a ton of storage on your iPhone. And I'm gonna show you right now. So check it out. As you can see right here, my entire photo library, which is in the cloud, takes up 650 gigabytes. That's right, over 650 gigabytes. It's taking up my iCloud storage, right? But if I come back and I come back again and come back for the third time and I go ahead here, go to general and then iPhone storage, let it load. As you can see, my photos only take up seven gigabytes of my iPhone storage. So I have access to my entire library on my iPhone over 38 thousand items and it's only taking up seven gigabytes of my iPhone storage. How amazing is that? That's why I mentioned you're able to clear your storage so, so easily. Now, please keep in mind that when you go ahead and enable iCloud Photos and optimize iPhone storage for the very first time, it may take a few minutes, hours, or even a few days, depending on how large your library is, to have everything synced up as you can see on mine. Mine is synced, as you can see, everything is synced, everything is perfect. For the very first time, it's gonna take a while for everything to upload to the cloud, therefore, it's gonna take a while for your storage to free up, which is automatic, but it takes a while, as I mentioned. And last but not least, so we can wrap up this video, naturally, if you wanna use iCloud Photos and store your photos and videos in the cloud, you will need to have enough storage in iCloud. We're freeing up from the iPhone and throwing everything to the cloud, right? So we need to have enough storage there. So probably you will need to subscribe to iCloud Plus, which is my case. As you can see, 
I have a two terabyte subscription. So that's how I managed to have my entire library right there in the cloud because I'm actually paying for it. So you're probably gonna need to pay for it as well. It's super easy. You can go ahead here, manage your plan. You can actually get 50 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes, two terabytes, or even more. Like it's gonna depend of course on how much storage you actually need, okay? So that's literally it. That's how you use iCloud Photos and free up a ton of your iPhone storage. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye-bye.